Hello dear students hopefully you all have attended both the videos which are related to our first unit of science that is needs and characteristics of living things now i am going to tell you about your first assignment that is your may 2021 task this is your work from home okay in this task first you all have to read the first unit thoroughly from the pages which have been shared in your class group then come to question number 1 this is about the life cycle of frog before coming to the first question you all have to uh, clear uh, that uh, you ha uh, all have to clear in your mind that this all work from home task should be done in your neat notebook so you have to prepare the first page of unit 1 write down for on the first line you have to write down the unit 1 heading with blue pointer and then marker blue pointer marker then the second heading uh, is correct the name of the unit that is characteristics of living things then divide the page into two columns just like shown in this picture so uh, write down diagram short questions long questions exercise a b c on book and activity on book and on the uh, second um, column just uh, in front of diagram you should write one then short questions uh these are four long questions two exercise a b c on book page number 10 11 and activity on book page number 7 this is how you should prepare the first page of your need book related to your unit one now come to question number 1 this is about the life cycle of frog which we all already um, cleared in our uh, second lesson you all have to draw it neatly just like the picture i am going to uh, show you yes you have to prepare the page like this you should write first the date on which you are doing that homework the day then come to the lines first line work from home heading with blue pointer pen then question number 1 heading with blue pointer pen then write down the full question that that is draw color and label the diagram of life cycle of frog that's it now leave all the blank lines and come to the next page this is the page in which on which you should draw the life cycle of frog okay the life cycle of frog has been also shared on your class group okay now similarly uh, i am going to show you the picture also first uh, ready your page like this you should draw a rectangle frame in which you should draw the life cycle of frog now uh, see how the frame is going to be make first you uh, should uh, count the line the first line 1 2 3 4 the last fourth line you should start uh, the lines of the frame and till the end of the page give the heading on the first line the heading is of your question is life cycle of frog with pencil okay okay now come to the drawing the drawing of your uh, diagram now this is the life cycle of frog and you have to draw just like this picture you have to draw the eggs then the tadpole and the frog and give the headings neatly on the four lines properly with capital let us this is uh, the picture of the life cycle of frog and you all have to make this diagram on the, um, just like this diagram in your need 
copy this is the question number one now come to question number two why the sunlight is important for the plants it's very general question and you can get it, its answer from your shared unit pages now similarly question number two Two, uh, you have to uh, write down question number two, uh, question number three also. Question number two give you, uh, you have to give the heading first with blue pointer marker. Write down the question why sunlight is important from plants and then start writing your answer. Make a heading of answer by your own. This is the sample heading which I am going to show you. This is the importance of sunlight. This is the heading. You have to write the answer just down your heading. Like just beneath the heading you should start your answer. Okay. Um, just like this page you all have to uh, make a similar page for question number 3 and then 4 and then for 5. Question number 3 is enlist your characteristics of living things like you have to write down the characteristics of living thing so first after writing the question give the heading make a heading of characteristics of living things and write down the four characteristics of living things number wise number one growth number two locomotion and movement like number three heredity number three sorry reproduction and number four is heredity these are the characteristic which you have learned in your unit also then come to question number four importance of water for living things this is the question about importance of water in living things so first write down the complete question that is write the importance of water for living things then Give the heading, importance of water for living things and then uh, write the answer. You can take uh, the making of answer, the finding of answer from your parents or your any elder siblings. Now come to next page, turn off question number 5. Write any three healthy and an unhealthy food it's very simple it's very interesting it's very journal uh, make up first write down question number five heading then first complete write the question then come to answer make a heading healthy food write down three healthy foods then number one two three and then make a heading of unhealthy food and um, by giving them okay dear students um, by after completing uh, question number five uh, this is the whole complete task uh, for may assignment so you can take uh, guidance from your parents and your sib any elder siblings for the completion of your task do your task very neatly do your task by your own in your neat notebooks with the help of blue ink pen and with the help of blue heading marker for your headings. So, uh, wish you a very safe and sound vacation period. Stay safe at home. Allah Hafiz.